The main findings of the SOFI report this year are not as good as we would have liked. Uh, and the reason is simple. Uh, the SOFI is reporting up to 828 million people chronically undernourished, what we call our POU indicator, uh, which means that we have increased in 150 million more people uh, chronically undernourished re with respect to the previous year. When we look at the at the trend and we look at 2030, which is the target of the SDGs, uh, our projections are showing that we will have 670 uh, million people chronically undernourished. It's exactly the same number that we have in 2015, when the SDGs were signed. The key drivers become behind food insecurity are conflict, climate change, and slowdowns and downturns. COVID-19 especially affected the slowdowns and downturns because economies, especially of developing countries, were completely shocked negatively because of the COVID-19. In this context is when the war in Ukraine happens. And what this means is that the situation is exacerbated even more. Why? Because Ukraine and Russian Federation represent around 30% of the exports of cereals. And what we understand is that there won't be only one policy. There has to be a portfolio of policies, of actions that need to be taken to create the transformation of the agri-food systems that we need. We can repurpose subsidies, of course, to improve efficiencies, to make the incentives compatible to a better nature, and also to reduce emissions for the climate and to reduce distortions. So if not in, in 2030, at least in five years from there or 10, we can achieve the goal of zero hunger.